Mark, you obviously didn't get the memo to do a vegetarian dish today, did you? Because oh, all yeah, I can look, see it's here, a complete right. vegetarian dish. Complete Just vegetarian dish. OK, what are we doing today? It's Monday, so what have you got for us? Uh, well, we've got Mongolian beef on the menu today, so really good. Uh, we're using this nice um, flank steak from, which is grown in the ground. It's a vegetable. It's a new type of vegetable. <laughs> you too. Um, you know, we've got some spice in there, garlic, ginger, and some jalapeno peppers to give us a little bit of kick. And we've got a salty, sweet um, sauce mm. that's going to go around it. You know, we've got a little coating for the beef. We're going to fry that off. It's it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I know, I miss you during the weekend, because I'm like, oh, who's cooking for me today? <laughs> <laughs> I come need to the Mark. restaurant. I'll oh, come to the restaurant, there you go. <laughs> I'll book it. OK, <laughs> looking forward to trying this. We'll get cooking in a wee while. Here we are in the Beko kitchen for a Mongolian recipe this morning, Mark. Now, I'm not acquainted with any Mongolian cuisine, actually, but I've seen those Mongolian barbecue restaurants. They are phenomenal. So this is kind of the staple at them, isn't it? Yeah, and we're going to make it right here yes. at home. OK, good. So really easy. So we've got our beef here. So this is flank steak, so you can see it's sort of, um, it's very textured, so you want to cook it really fast. And it, see how it all runs down one way? Yeah, the grains of yeah, the meat. Yeah, the grains of the meat, that's it. So we want to cut across those. So we're going to do some nice strips, take any fat off, and just do nice sort of thin strips like this. Across okay, so the grain. Across so, yeah, okay, so when we grain, cut it, it's going to become nice and tender. Okay, if we go sense. with the grain, it's just going to make it really tough. Okay, cool. Right, so I'm just going to keep doing that. Yeah, don't right, want to turn any pans on. Oh, you've got no, it already, aren't pans you? Pans on, oh. it's all organised. Okay, sorted. It's all in the mise en place. Right, big bowl there. A little bit of uh, corn flour. Yes. Pop that in. Yeah. As, as I cut this beef, you can give it that a good um, season, salt and pepper. Okay. Cool. And then I'm going to cut the beef and you're going to toss it through the corn flour so it's all lightly oh, coated. Not. Sorry, I've got lids in. Right, and then it's going to give us a kitchen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for the seasoning, salt and pepper. Yeah. It's as simple as that for the. Coating on their Mongolian beef strips. Yeah, that's it. And it's, you know, we're just going to lightly toss it and then we're going to fry it with some uh, flavours. But, you know, it's going to get like a little, it's going to get a real fine sort of crisp on there. You know, it's not going to be too crispy because we're, you know, we're cooking it and then it's going to be a sauce on there. But, you know, it's all going to help. Yeah, get the seasoning in. Yeah, get a bit more in. You right. never over season, can you? So, well, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Right, a little bit of chilli now. So, got some jalapeno peppers. Yep. So, nice, nice kick there. Good flavour as well. I'm just going to take the seeds here. out. Woo! All right, you can toss the um, toss the beef through. Okay, cool. And I'm just going to do a nice, uh, just a nice little dice there of the peppers. Okay, cool. And then I've got a pan which is just warming up there, and I'm going to start cooking the uh, jalapeno chilies and some ginger together just to sort of get those flavours going. Nice work. Okay, so ginger, we just peeled it. So if you just peel the um, the outside of the skin off, like into a square, yeah, and then it just makes it easier to just dice up into little cubes. Oh, I'm nice. sure. I'm sure I've shown you that before. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, just finished doing this. All right. So all the beef's coated. Yeah, all the beef's pretty Beautiful. much coated. Full. Just, just quickly though, you use this particular piece of meat because it works best with this recipe. Yeah, it's really good. So you're gonna, I mean, you're gonna cook the beef. We've cut it nice and uh, fine, so it's not gonna take too long to cook. But it's right. gonna, you know, we can cook it. It's almost gonna be sort of like a really fast braise, like in this. Um, in this sauce, right, and okay. it it's going to give us a nice texture. You know, you could use some sirloin steak or some rump steak as well, but it's just that you know it's a cheaper nice. alternative uh, meat with some texture. Great. Right, some oil in there. Get the alpha one in. Can I how, much, how, much, how, how much alpha one? Is that enough? All right, a bit more. So, no, hang on. Oh, oh, this, okay. oh, a little bit less. <laughs> a little bit less. <laughs> it's all right. We'll just go with it because we need some oil, so we do need a bit. Um, right, that goes in there. Yeah. Crank the heat up. You keep an eye on that. Sort of stir fry that. Okay. With a spoon. Just going to get those flavours out there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of garlic. So just sort of crush that, peel it, chop it up, and then we'll give it give it a minute or so. Then we'll get the garlic in. And we want to keep that heat up there, right? So you've just got to be careful. You don't want to okay. burn any of this. But we're just getting the heat to uh, bring out all the flavours. And we need the heat as well, because we're going to put the uh, beef in there and start crisping it up. Right, and that's why we keep moving it. Because of yeah, the, so yeah that's it. Right, okay, garlic cool. goes in. And, yep. right, so you've got to really sort of pay attention now and work fast. OK. OK, got that nice heat in there. Pop some beef in, and then we just want to stir fry that together, and we want to get some colour on the beef. So okay. nice and hot now. Keep it on the flame. Keep tossing it. Get that even sort of uh, on the flame, on the flame, on the flame. Keep it hot. Thank you. And, and we don't want to put too much in. Okay. So if you're going to use it, you know, do do the full recipe. Either do it in two pans or do it like this. Take it out. Get the other beef um, crispy, and then we'll put it all back in and finish the dish. And I'm just going to pop some uh, rice into here whilst we're uh, waiting. Nice work. Okay, cool. A little bit of salt and uh, 
All right, we'll brown that and we'll come back and finish the sauce. Brilliant. Okay, Ooh, it's smelling good. You don't want to miss the business end of this Mongolian beef recipe because I've been browning up our beef. Things are smelling fantastic. Hey, are you happy, Shu? Yeah, no, it's really good. good. So we're getting some colour on there. Yeah. Right, so time to make the sauce now. Brown so we've got sugar. some brown sugar. Yep. And we've got some soy sauce here. I just want to mix it all together. And a little bit more corn flour as well. Oop. Look at that wasn't uh, measured out perfectly. <laughs> um, and then just whisk it all into a little bowl. Yeah. And then that's going to be your sauce. You know, so you've got the base of the soy sauce, you've got that nice sweetness from the brown sugar, and then the corn flour is just going to, as it, as it hits the beef and reduces slightly, it's going to thicken. Okay, because we don't want to thicken, or we don't want to reduce the thickened soy sauce, otherwise it's going to get too salty. Okay. Okay, this stage, Pop it in there, give it a really good stir as it comes up so it thickens. So you're going to get this beautiful, rich, salty, sweet sauce, which is going to coat the, mm. um, it's going to coat all the beef. It's going to be nice and sticky as well. And then lots of spring onion, the white part and the green part. Just chop that up, and we're just going to finish the dish with that. Look and that's how, just going to refresh everything. Look how beautifully look rich that. that looks. It looks incredible, doesn't it? And it smells divine. The good thing is, nice and quick, you can do this at home. If you, you know, didn't catch what Mark was saying and his tips, you just go to three now and you can re-watch this on demand if you like. Yeah, and you just super, pause it. Super easy, super simple, and look at that, you know, really rich sauce there. Isn't it? You know, if it's, if it's getting a little bit thick, don't be scared to just add a little bit of um, water. Okay. You know, you've got so much flavour in there, it's just going to loosen it down with a little bit of water. Or if you like, if you like it nice and thick and sticky and, and just mm. beautiful, leave it like that. We've got the rice on here, we've just turned it down. Nice. Don't open the lid, leave the <laughs> lid on it. About 10, 15 minutes, pull it off, give it five minutes resting so it just steams through, sucks up that last bit of moisture and then just fork it with a fork, fluff it with a fork <laughs> and, uh, and serve well, it together. That's close, yes. mate. <laughs> <laughs> fork it. Yeah. Fork it with a you fork. Know what I mean. Same thing, though. No? Yeah, <laughs> fluff it up. Um, now, just quickly, the spring onions, you're going to put them in now. Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought, is it a so, garnish at the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, I mean, pretty much at the end, you know, a lot of spring onion through there, but it's just going to act and it's going to really cut through that richness of the, um, of the sauce. I'm actually going to put a little splash of water in there. So it's getting nice and thick, you know. Yeah, it is getting I like, thick, I like it? it nice and thick and full of flavour, but it is nice to have a little bit of liquid for your rice as oh, well. Oh, yeah, because it can there soak you go. it up. How fast is that? Beautiful, absolutely brilliant. Loved, I really enjoyed that. That was good. <laughs> yeah. What's so sophisticated as this? This looks fantastic. I thought you were going to say me then. <laughs> no, just uh, your no, beautiful. It's come out really good. It's looks brilliant. very professional and it's going to taste great. What are you doing tomorrow? Well, I've got a treat tomorrow. Pear and brie quesadillas. Mm. Is it sweet? Is Ooh. it savoury? Don't know. <laughs>